like seriously me. Well, unromantic. Yes, you're so unromantic. How do you? <laughs> come here. What? I said come here. If I can't, will be romantic? Just yeah. come here. Is it a command or, or you're asking me to? Just come here. And then what happens? <laughs> what happens? So you said I'm unromantic. Come on, I was just joking, babe. What, what do you mean I'm unromantic? I mean, we all know that you're the most romantic boyfriend what else? in the world. What else? What else about me? And, um... And what? You're awesome, babe. You, you're the best. Am I the best? Of course you're the best. Best, best in what? Best in everything that you do. Name two things I'm good at. Two things. Embedding. <laughs> outside <laughs> bed. <laughs> Embedding what else? outside what else? bed. That's all. What else? That's all. What else? Two things. I said two things. You uh, named one. No, I said in bed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and outside what else? bed. What else? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, tell no, me. don't do this. Tell please. me, tell me what you enjoy. What do you enjoy? What else do you enjoy? You said I'm the best man in the world. Yeah. So tell me how. Be practical about it. Practical? Mm hmm. Help. Hey. Yeah. Let's go somewhere. Where? Um, let's go to Paris. Again? Yeah. Oh my god, no. What? what? I just got back from a vacation. It doesn't matter. I want to take you somewhere. Mm. I'm not going anywhere. Tell me. What? <sighs> now? No, but I need to go to the kitchen. Oh. We can make that now. Because I want to cook. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Alright. 
You okay? Yeah, I'm trying to make something special cool. for you today. And after that, we're gonna hang out and uh <laughs> you, okay? you need help? No, I don't Should I come down? down? I don't know, no, you no, no, just stay there. Okay. Don't oh. don't come down, That's just stay with me. Just stay with me. Are you okay? Yes, babe. Want to show me something? Yeah, I actually wanted to use to use. Hold on, I'll call you. Just keep washing. Oh, you call me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I Am I washing it properly? Babe, babe, come, come see. Come, just come pick it up. Okay. So, which, which do you like? The red one. Because it's really cute. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm watching the cat. Is that how to watch? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how you watch your video? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll come and help you. What is it by your time? I ask again. Honey, you sound angry. Why wouldn't I be angry? A man returns home from work waiting for hours for his woman to return from work and making food. It's not really enough to make a man angry. It's past eight already and your man has not taken dinner. And you are you asking me you sound angry. 
called you. I remember telling you I won't be home early. You should help me in the kitchen. I am so famished. I was expecting to eat the food my mom made when I get home. You're not serious, are you? You expect a man to go into the kitchen and make food when he has a woman in his house? Listen, Stephanie, let me educate you in case you don't know. It is the job of a woman to make food for a man. Haven't you heard about the word division of labor before? Haven't you heard about the word job specification before? And you expect me to go to the kitchen and make food for you? Listen, Stephanie, go into the kitchen and prepare something for your man. I'm exhausted. I said I am hungry. Stephanie, go into the kitchen and perform your duty as a woman. You don't expect me to be doing that for you. It is your job to make food for me. I provide you make food. And that is what you will do. Take it to the bank. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. How do you expect a woman to sit in the house and a man will be performing a, a, a duty meant for a woman? How do you mean? 
cooking, of course. How do you expect a man to enter into the kitchen and start cooking for his woman when the woman is in the house? All right, tell me, where is it written in the Bible? Why are you talking like this? Mm -hmm. Anything kitchen is a woman's duty. A woman makes the meal for the man, not the other way around. Bro, listen, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not saying it's not honorable for a woman to make, you know, to cook for her husband or, you know, prepare meals in the house. But it's also very important that we as men help out in the kitchen. Do you understand? Look at what happened. You almost burnt down the house because your wife didn't cook for you. When it was very obvious that she was exhausted from work and she wasn't in the mood to cook. I mean, I expected you to walk into the kitchen and prepare something for you guys to eat. It's not possible. But you did otherwise. Steve, I am entitled, man. I can't enter the kitchen and cook. It's not possible. God okay. forbid. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me tell you something very surprising. As opposed to taking the cars to the car wash, do you know Mira? does the washing herself. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, she, she can wash your car. She's not your girlfriend. Oh. A, a woman can wash a car. Okay, so she can wash my car. And I cannot cook. Huh? Hmm? No, tell me. So she can go ahead and wash the cars in the house, but I cannot cook as a man. Come on, bro. I think you should understand that we need to act right. Do the right things as men. And don't forget, we're getting married to them on the same day. We're proposing to them on the same day. So I suggest you sort out your differences with her and make peace reign. Come on. Listen, Go into the kitchen and make something for all of you to eat before you die of hunger. It's not possible. You think she will go free if I die of hunger? So what's going to happen? I will arrest her now. Arrest her? Why? <laughs> so you come out from the land of the dead and get her arrested. <laughs> How will you even tell the police? Uh, an innocent man stopped to death by his woman. Get into the kitchen and cook. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't change who you are. Well, tell me to go to the market and buy pepper too. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I can't. There's nothing equally wrong with that. No. Come on. Huh. Yes. Delicious? Mm hmm. Tasty. Mm hmm. That reminds me. Your friend, Ray. It's been long I saw you both together. How's he? We were together yesterday. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I haven't seen him around. I mean, it's been long we all hung out, right? Yeah. And I miss Ray's woman as well. I mean, we can still hang out if you want. Mm hmm Sure, great. Would you like that? Why not? All right, cool. So it's fun and dramatic. <laughs> I can always make that happen. Okay, babe. Sorry, someone's calling me. Hello? Yeah, hi. What's up, bro? Mm -hmm. Really? So, w where is he at the moment? Alright then, I'll, I'll be with you shortly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll come by. Okay, see you. Alright, bye. Babe, I have to... I have to rush. Hey, but you're not done eating. Business. Oh. It involves money. Oh, money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
stay too long. Yeah, sure. I love you. Mm. Mm. I love you. Okay, baby. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I should go ahead and eat your meat. Do whatever you like. Okay. I'll eat them all. Ooh. You didn't clean the shoe. What am I holding? My shoe! I told you I'll be going out with this shoe, that you should clean it and polish it for me. Is that not a man's shoe? What happens to a man's shoe? What are you talking about? Hello? Are we forgetting something here? There is what we call division of labor. And there is what we call job specification for male and female. It is a woman's duty to enter the kitchen and make the food because she's the only one that eats the food in the house. It is also the woman's duty to tidy up the house, do all the chores, because she's the only one that lives in the house. In this case, it's very clear. It's the duty of a man to clean a man's shoes because he's the only one that wears the shoe. A man cleans a man's shoe while a woman cleans a woman's shoe. What have you been drinking, woman? Water, of course. Do you realize you're still living in my house? I think it's high time you went back to your own house. No problem. It's fine. As long as you will get the house and pay the rent. I was on my own, no? I was on my own. I was on my own. I wanted to renew my rent. This man came with his two left legs. He asked me to move under his roof. Let's do this couple things living under the same roof. Now, he wants me to move to which house? We die here. We die here. See, I, 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 I can see you're in for quarrels this morning. Why would I be? Why would I be? When all my, when my, my man does his quarrel. My man loves quarrel like food. Look at Steve. Are they not doing the exact thing we are doing? Have you ever had them quarrel or have any issue in the relationship? Is that not how a relationship is supposed to be? Free of stress and, and problems? Steph. Steph! I can take anything from you, but not comparing me with somebody else. Anyway, I am not... I don't, I don't have to... No, 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 no! You must quarrel, no! You must quarrel! We have to quarrel! You must quarrel! Not in this house! You, we must quarrel, no! You have to quarrel! Wait, wait! It's a must! Go here, you must quarrel! We have to! You must quarrel! Excuse me. What's wrong? Do I look all right to you? No. Do I look all right to you? No. That's why I'm asking. What's wrong? I told you to wake me up at 1 p.m. yesterday. 
I told you I had an important meeting to attend, but you refused to wake me up. I have lost a contract of 40 million. Yes! Babe, but I woke you up several times. And each time I tried to wake you, you ask me to leave you alone, that you need more rest and more nap. Do you expect me to disturb your sleep? What stupid nap are you talking about? What man sleeps in the afternoon? Tell me! Now I have lost a contract of 40 million. You obviously don't care about the business I do because you don't spend a dime in this house. What the hell is wrong with you? Now I have lost 40 million because of your carelessness and negligence. Do you know what 40 million naira is in this present economic dispensation? I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? What stops you from waking me up or pouring water on my body if I refuse to wake up? What stops you from emptying a bucket of water on my, on my head? You obviously don't know what to say. You have nothing to say. Nothing for me to eat. Oh, yeah. We had the last food in the afternoon, and I was going to make you dinner, but I, I called you several times. You didn't take my calls. So I got worried and distracted. I'll quickly fix up something for you. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Mira, I don't understand. I go out to work and I come back. There's nothing for me to eat. Then why are you here? I feel like you're being unnecessarily paranoid right now. Excuse me? I'm being unnecessarily paranoid? Yes. Don't ever say that to me again. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I, th I think your mother didn't raise you well. I should have said that to you a long time ago. Excuse you? Yes! No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Why do you mention my mother's name? I said your mother did not raise you well! No, 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 no. Get up. Get, get no, up. No, get, I, can you I'm get up? I'm not getting up until Listen, you tell I, me you're forgiving me. I should be the one apologizing, not you. Get up, please. Get up. Sit down. But it was all my fault. No, babe. It was my fault. I overreacted. I shouldn't have. Babe, I don't like it when we quarrel. Our relationship should be free from arguments. That's wrong, babe. That's wrong. You've got
got it wrong. Days like this should make us stronger. Days like this should bond us together. Days like this should make us stronger. Because I strongly believe there's, there's no relationship out there without fights and quarrels. But the most important thing is what do you make out of it? What do you learn from it? It's important we learn to control our emotions. It's important we learn to sort out our differences. Because we learn every day. But I apologize, I overreacted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the journey of love and for better life. Sometimes what we really want is not what we get. But it doesn't really mean that we're not doing our best. Oh, yeah. What it good for Mr. A might not be good for Mr. B. Oh, yeah. Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Oh, come with a pure heart. Come with a pure heart. Say no to jealousy. Oh, yeah. Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Oh, build yourself. Come with a pure heart. Oh, say no to jealousy. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in life, we feel loved. We feel loved. But then sometimes, we feel lonely. We really wish to have the world in our hand. But when it doesn't work, what do we do? Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Build yourself. Come with up your heart. Come with up your heart. Say no to jealousy. Say no to jealousy. Check your life, check your life, build yourself, build yourself, come with a pure heart, come with a pure heart, say no to jealousy, check your life, check your life, build yourself, build yourself, come with a pure heart, come with a pure heart, say no to jealousy. Say no to hatred. Say no to envy. Oh yeah. Say no to hate. Go with a pure heart. Oh yeah. Ooh.
Maybe I am suggesting. I think we need a need. Maybe this may help. This may stop the nagging. The fight is getting to us and I am tired. This wasn't the plan, remember? Let's look for a way to resolve our differences. Except you don't love me anymore. Maybe if, if we continue like this, what will become of us when we get married? Or when we start having kids? Are we, are we going to be fighting like this in front of our kids? I am I'm willing to do anything to make this relationship work. If you don't buy my idea, you can let it go. But if you do, let's work on our relationship. I believe you were briefed well. Your job specifications. What is expected of you? What and what to do? What and what not to do? Having been briefed, I believe you're equal to the task. Yes, ma'am. Very correct, ma'am. Good. That reminds me, while I was going through your details sent to me, I noticed you're from my place. Your place? Are you from Omuchu? Yes. Though I was hardly around, that explains why we don't know ourselves. I'm so happy to hear that, ma'am. Same here. That means you're my sister. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, come, let me show it to you. Okay.
David! Stop! Get the gate, there's someone there! What is that? Hi guys! See who we have here! Let me get them. Yes, baby. Whoa, hey, bro, how are you? Hey! How are you? Alright? Hi there! How are you? You okay? Wow! I'm still trying to. You guys feel us? You feel us? Just come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. We're actually having uh, some drinks and uh, come in, come in, come in, come in. But no, but for real, I mean, your boss, they're really taking care of you. I don't like the fact that you don't come to visit me, Sha. You're supposed to be coming every weekend, every weekend, every weekend. It's fine. You're just enjoying all the working money. Where is enjoying? Like just too so much, but I promise, I'll promise. Okay, sure, you really should. <laughs> Does it taste nice? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's my boyfriend's favorite. I mean, this how he makes this juice. He makes this really well. Trust me. Oh, it's nice. I know. <laughs> I have some more so you can finish it. He made a lot. <laughs> so how have you been? Myself? I've just been here. I mean, enjoying baby girl lifestyle, benefits. All of my you. man, pumper me, you know, do the midnight massage. <laughs> <laughs> and have some like, cool sex in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is getting long. Don't watch things. No. No, 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 I mean, that's what baby girl is supposed to do. Yes. Yes. Enjoy your mantle. Enjoy. He likes to do it in the bathtub. Shut up. Oh, that's, that's my man for you. He loves to cook. I mean, it's not like I don't cook dough, but... His food tastes better. He's like our chef. He doesn't even let me go to the kitchen. I know the sweet part of it all. After eating the best meals, he makes me come five times. Oh, stop! Yes, I'm not playing. And I told you several times, right? I mean, he's. Can you keep saying that? <laughs> I know. Is that not why you miss me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's awesome. And guess what? What? Just recently, he got me roses. Like. Oh, all part of the bedroom and then he took it to the bathtub he knows i love him and he does it in the bathtub girl let me show you okay see. oh wow it's beautiful so nice yes. so many roses everywhere beautiful he's so romantic oh my god i love him so much you know, he makes your meal yeah, I mean, it's a regular thing. He cooks for both of us. It's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just about making the meal. It actually tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Right. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys okay? <laughs> you guys are really great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm playing. Hey bro, take it easy. I am not home at the moment, alright? I stepped out with my woman to see my homie. Don't worry, I'll get back to you as soon as I am home to access the file, alright?
Yes, girl, we got the party. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here. I didn't want to go out today, but you decided to pull me out. Decided to drive me out, so I'm ready to go. Okay, how do I look? Awesome. You look so given. Good to go. Do I? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, come on. Your shoes, they don't look neat enough. My shoes don't look neat? Yes, it's not given the shiny vibe that I like. Hang on. My shoes are not shiny enough. It's not, baby, it's not. I'm not gonna let you disgrace me outside. Okay, what do you mean by that? What's wrong with my shoes? No, she said she knows what to do. Let's wait. Let's do it. Let's wait then. The shoes are okay. Huh? Okay. Then what are you trying to do? I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I need my man to always look good. That's it. Babe. What? You're going to thank me later. I need them shiny. Is it? Is that different? Okay. Hmm. Put hey. this down. Okay. Perfect. White material. See the difference? I know. I see it. Let me have the other one. Okay. There Put you it go, here. ma'am. There Aha. you go, ma'am. <laughs> uh -huh. It looks better now. Way <laughs> much better. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> okay. Are we good now? Perfect. Thanks, baby. Come take a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with those shoes? Sir, Madame said I should clean the shoes. You're fired. Sir? You heard me right. I said your services are no longer needed here. So you drop those shoes and leave my house. I have your account number already, so I will make transfers to you. So leave. Are you okay? Listen, Steph, I need my woman to clean my shoes. I need my woman to tidy up the house. I need my woman to do the chores in the house. Not bringing somebody from nowhere to come clean my shoes. So you don't want me to be paying somebody to clean my shoes. Ordinary shoes. Ray, you are getting it all wrong. Sir. Sir, please don't fire me. Please, sir. I promise to double my efforts. I still like this job. Sir, I'll clean your shoes very well. I can't believe you're still having my shoes. Drop those shoes and leave. Sir, and then leave! We don't do this. And for better life Sometimes what we really want Is not what we hear But it doesn't really mean That we're not doing our best What it good for Mr. A Might not be good for Mr. B Check your life Build yourself. Oh, come with a pure heart. Come with a pure heart. Say no to jealousy. Oh, yeah. Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Oh, build yourself. Come with a pure heart. Oh, oh. Say no to jealousy. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in life. Feel the love, but then sometimes we feel lonely. We really wish to have the world in our hands, but when it doesn't work, what do we do? Check your life. Come with a pure 
I know what you're thinking. I'm cheating. But honestly, I don't know what this is. I don't know who this is. I'm trying to call the number back. The person isn't picking up. I have no idea who the person is. You have to believe me. I am not cheating. The lady at the mall. Was she? She's the one, right? What are you talking about? Who is Steve? What do you mean, who is Steve? My fiance. He's cheating on me. No. I refuse to accept that. Not in Steve, I know. Did you catch him with the woman? Not really. But there are evidence here and there. A particular number keeps sending him love messages. How they met in the hotel. And how they will still meet again. 
Oh, girl, I don't know. Steve? No way. How come? He doesn't even look it. I'm confused. I'm so confused. My goodness. When has come? I am so sorry. Babe, if there's anything wrong I have done in the past, please tell me I will apologize. Or if there's something that I'm doing and you're not comfortable with it, I swear I will adjust. I've told you several times, I don't like it when we fight. And even when we fight, we should always sort things out. That's why we're together. To learn and unlearn. Babe, you know, our relationship is the envy of all. We shouldn't allow devil to come between us. We shouldn't allow some woman to to cause problems. Please, I'm sorry. Babe, you're not saying anything. I'm sorry. If at this point in our lives, in our relationship, we do not trust each other, we cannot vouch for each other, we cannot affirm what we can do and what we cannot do, then there's a problem.
Ray. I know you and Steve are really good friends. I also know that Steve will not lie to you. Please, Ray, I want you to tell me the truth. Is Steve cheating on me? Is he seeing another woman? Please, Ray, tell me the truth, please. Honestly, I am confused. How are you talking about Steve, your fiance, my friend? Yes. No, no, no. You guys are good together now. What will Steve be looking for in another woman? Lately, Steve has changed. A strange number keeps calling him and texting him. He has been taking secret calls. Look, Ray, you know I love Steve so much. So I don't care about him cheating on me, but I want it to be in the past. I'm willing to forgive him and let go of it as long as he doesn't cheat on me again. Please, I want you to help me talk to Steve. He shouldn't allow devil or anybody to come between us. You know how long we've built our relationship. Please, I love him so much. I cannot live without him. It's okay. It's okay. As much as I don't see him as someone who can do such thing, uh, but I will still have a word with him on that. Hmm? It's a promise. Okay? Well, I'll be so happy if you help me, please. I love Steve. I love him so much. I don't want to lose him. You won't lose him. He loves you too. I'll talk with him, all right? I've not been able to sleep for days. Please help me. I'll talk with Steve. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mira was in my house yesterday. Really? Yeah. Why do you say people who are getting your no service to the hotel? What's with you and Nash these days? Nash, Nash, what's that? I don't understand. Listen, Steve, you and Mira are good together. You are good to go. Unlike mine, that I don't even understand where we are headed to. So, why... Why give a room for her to slip off your fingers? You still haven't said anything. I, I am not perfect. Uh, and I am not judging you. But if you want to play games, you should be smart enough not to let out any loose hole. You haven't said anything. Why are you cheating on me, Mira? Excuse me. What do you mean? You don't trust me? You don't trust what I can do? I don't even trust myself, so why should I trust another? We're not joking here, man. Who is the woman that has been sending you love text messages and asking you where, where you guys are going to meet and all that? I have no idea. That's the truth. I have no idea. I don't know who the person is. I don't know why the person texts me. I have no idea. And the surprising part of the entire situation is this. It looks like the person knows me so well. This person knows when I travel. This person knows when I'm not in my house. This person knows when I'm at work. It's just crazy, I'm totally confused. But the question is, why should I even think of cheating on my woman? I don't have any reason to do that. I don't. You, you, you mean you, you're not having any fling with anyone that knows you I, or your woman? No, I'm not. To have Maybe in your office. I said no, bro. That's the gospel truth. And I'm very confident about it. <laughs> I, I believe you. You don't have any choice, bro. I'm certain. I, I don't... I'm not seeing anyone, so I'm... My conscience is clean. I have nothing to do with anybody. I still do not know. In order to ascertain or clear your doubts, I 
I would love to suggest something. Maybe you should travel or something. You know? Probably tell him you're traveling. Then watch him from afar. And take him on away when you return. You really need it this time. You need it to clear your head and all. Sure. Surprised to see you. you didn't tell me you were coming back. I thought you were. Hey, come here. You okay? Mm -hmm. I, I thought you said you'd stay one more day or. Babe, come on. Talk to me. What is it? Aren't you happy to see me? Babe! Babe, aren't you going to give me a hug? Are you not happy to see me? Babe! I'm talking to you! Mira! <sighs> what is it? Why are you staring at me like that? Journey of love and for better life. Sometimes what we really want is not what we get, but it doesn't really mean that we're not doing our best. Oh, yeah. What it good for Mr. A might not be good for Mr. B. Check your life, check your life. 
Build yourselves. Oh, come with a pure heart. Come with a pure heart. Say no to jealousy. Oh yeah. Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Oh, build yourself. Come with a pure heart. Oh, say no to jealousy. Oh yeah. Sometimes in life. We feel love, we feel love, but then sometimes, sometimes we feel lonely. We really wish to have the world in our hands, but when it doesn't work, what do we do? Check your life. Yourself, yourself, come with up your heart. Come with up your heart. Say no to jealousy. Say no to jealousy. Check your life. Check your life. Build yourself. Build yourself. Come with up your heart. Come with up your heart. Say no to jealousy. Check your life. Say no to hatred. Say no to envy. Oh yeah. Say no to hate. Go with a pure heart. Oh yeah. My mind is made up. I... I want to leave this environment. I want to relocate. For my mental health, I really need to. You want to relocate? Yes. To where? Honestly, Steph, I don't know. But I just know that for my sanity, I need to leave.
How did you get in here? Your doors are not locked. I, I came to check up on you. I know it has not been easy since the incident with your girl. Then she left. Um. <sighs> yeah, it's been hard for me since she left, but uh, I miss her. I do. It's okay. You don't have to miss her anymore. I am here for you now. What do you mean? You're a good man. Every woman's dream. Steve, I have admired you from afar, yet without reach. You have 100% qualities I need in my man. I yearn for you every day, yet you're nowhere close to my arms. To God be the glory, opportunity presented itself. Please, what nonsense are you talking about? I'm in love with you, Steve. <sighs> Mira is your best friend, right? Was. She was my best friend, not anymore. Oh, okay. She's gone. Gone forever. I am here to feel the space she left in your heart. You know, no woman in her right senses will have a man like you and leave. Leave for whatever reason. None in her right senses. I need you to make love to me. Now. Take your hand off me. Please, quietly leave this room. I said... Quietly... Leave this room. I don't want to get physical with you. Just respect yourself, please.
Only you can free yourself, madam. The solution to your ill health lies in your hands. The Lord Almighty sent me to deliver this message to you. You destroyed your best friend relationship. I will only advise you, go and make peace with your best friend so that you have peace as well. If you pay deaf ear to this message, this is how you're going to die slowly. You better go and confess all your evil deeds so that you have peace and be healed.
Vera's number is not connecting. Ray, I, I want to get something straight. Your woman said she has something important to say. But Mira has to be present. Right? I, I don't know. I'm still trying to place it as much as you're trying to do. But we'll keep believing. Let me just try again. But she's equally not taking my call. It's ringing. She didn't peek. Up, girl, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're sorry for what? Everything that happened. I was behind it. I was jealous. Now I'm suffering from it. The guilt, the guilt is eating me up. Uh, Steph, I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean jealousy? How? Your man is innocent. What? Still is innocent. So? I sent him all those messages. Jesus. What? I... 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 I placed a condom sachet in his room. To make it look like he slept with a girl. Oh my gosh. I, I had everything planned out. Because she always rub, rub it to my face. How it's all perfect she does it. How everything was working out perfectly well between you guys. And no matter how I try not to work out between myself and my guy. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm really sorry, please. Please. 
I came to officially break up with you. Sounds so direct, I guess. Life and its lessons. It was a wonderful journey with you. A very long one. But it was worth it. Because I learned. And I believe you did too. Sometimes we we try to force things that wouldn't be. Either because we wanted to belong or we were blinded by what we presume was love. And then we find ourselves doing those things which does not represent us. Until we find ourselves in an entirely different environment. And then new ideas begin to come and and then we move on. Love is not enough. We we were not compatible. There was no chemistry. We were not meant to be. Thank you for your time. Thank you for what, what life taught me through you. I have moved on. And I hope you do too. I, I pray God gives you the woman you deserve. Love. Love is a beautiful thing when, when you find the right one. Goodbye. 
begin the journey of love and for better life. Sometimes what we really want is not what we get, but it doesn't really mean that we're not doing our best. What it good for Mr. A might not be good for Mr. B. Check your life, your life, be yourself. Come with a pure heart, come with a pure heart. Say no to jealousy. What's wrong with your tummy? Oh, We're playing. What? What do you mean? Um. Wait. You said I was going to tell you that. Yeah, I was going to tell you today, but why did you have to hit my tummy with this pillow? You're pregnant. How? When? <laughs> For who? What do you mean, how? When? I I'm pregnant. Stop telling lies. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not playing for real. I trust my heart. Stop playing prank. Okay. Are you pranking me? No. Stop playing prank. Just put your ears down. Keep here, what? Why are you playing with me? Why are you playing games? For real, babe. I'm pregnant. And. Yeah. What? Well, you still I don't. What? I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe you. Don't you. Believe me? I don't believe you. Okay. Wait. Get serious right now. I am pregnant, babe. For real. Just about. Just because you're hungry. Don't you believe me, Father? Okay. Okay. That's enough. Like. Yes. Really, really, really. <laughs> In the journey of love and for better life. Sometimes what we really want is not what we get But it doesn't really mean that we're not doing our best What it good for Mr. A might not be good for Mr. B Check your life, check your life, build yourself Come with a pure heart, come with a pure heart, say no to jealousy, yeah. Check your life, check your life, build yourself, oh, build yourself. Come with a pure heart, oh, say no to jealousy, yeah. Sometimes in life, we feel the love. Sometimes 